What's up guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Francesco and I've been traveling around the world for the last five years, almost actually six years. And in this vlog, I'm going to introduce myself to the new subscribers, but also I'm going to give a little bit of a life update uh, for who has been following me on all this beautiful journey around the world. Today I'm here to introduce my new girlfriend. I don't want to say my new girlfriend because it seems like I had a lot of girlfriends, but actually I'm here to introduce the woman of my life and this person is Amber Killian. <laughs> Welcome on my YouTube channel. How do you feel? Good. Good? Yeah. You anxious? Uh, no, I don't know. No? Not really. Okay. She's gonna be very anxious when she's gonna hear the question that I'm going to make. Uh, so, introduction is going to be uh, basically talking about what's the situation right now in my life and why we are here together and what is going to be the next adventure journey that we're going to jump in uh, pretty much soon. But also to introduce uh, her uh, to my channel, to my subscribers and also give a little bit of information about our job situation and what we would like to achieve for the end of this year. So let's start with the four questions that I prepared for you. The first question is going to be, have you ever been in Bali? And of course, what do you hope to find there? Um, because as the title says, we're actually going to move to Bali pretty much soon. I mean, we hope to do that. Um, so yeah, if you can tell us about if you ever been in Bali and what do you hope to find there? So I've not been to Bali, but I've heard lots of good things about it. Being an influencer, I've seen a lot of other influencers move there basically because it's super low cost or people that own their own business. So that's something that I definitely am looking forward to. Um, something that I hope to find there, I mean, I've been living on the West Coast during COVID and it's been like super locked down. So I was already hoping to move somewhere that would be more open for the next year or so um, as things are just very, I don't know. Yeah, like I can see that I've been actually in USA uh, visiting Oregon. I can see that they're starting to implement new restrictions, um, which it means like that the things are not going good because if they pass from being super open to start to put restrictions on means that things are not going good. Uh, so it's not a good, uh, let's say, it is not a good perspective for the future, for the near future. I don't want uh, to think that whoever is watching this vlog, uh, that, you know, people think that, okay, we're moving to Bali just because Bali is super open, there's no restriction, you can do whatever you want, you cannot wear a mask. No, it doesn't work like that. You know, there are restrictions, there are rules that respect and make sure you do that because there's been a lot of people actually getting deported because they were not wearing a mask or, you know, doing very stupid stuff. Um, but yeah, you will have restrictions as well there, but the feeling, it's way better because you can still enjoy a walk on the beach, you can still enjoy going to the gym, you can still enjoy um, going to the cinema or anyway, going to the shopping mall. And also like the community itself, it's very open. One thing is you do a lockdown in a room for prefer me to square, you know, and one thing you do a lockdown in a private villa with pool. It's completely different, you know. Uh, I mean, I wish I had uh, my lockdown in a private villa with pool unfortunately wasn't like that. So yeah, for sure, this is one of the things that I think most of people are looking for right now, a place where the lifestyle is much easier. And uh, you were talking a little bit about uh, work. Uh, so um, I'm pretty sure my, my, my followers are actually interested about your job. What do you do uh, in order to live, in order to, to, to afford traveling around the world? So I am an influencer, that's usually what I tell people, I'm an influencer, or I say I do Instagram and YouTube, but the reality is that most of my income actually comes from OnlyFans. I started doing OnlyFans as a hobby when I was in college, basically when Instagram started putting all these, like, they would like delete girls' posts if they were a little bit too sexy, um, and I've always enjoyed taking those type of pictures, so basically I started an OnlyFans, and I started putting a lot of effort into it and then over two years, actually, I think I've had it for maybe almost three years now. Um, it's definitely a very good income source for me. So that's 
basically what I do for my job. And also, this is a kind of job that you can do from anywhere in the yeah, world. Yeah, so that's doesn't, why I like... It doesn't like stick you to one place, so you can literally do it anywhere, anytime. It's all depending on you, how much time and effort you put, and then that's connected to your income, let's say. Maybe I should start my own. A lot of artists and... <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, people that teach a certain skill, I feel like they all use Patreon. Yeah, I think so. I think that I think that too. But I, I've seen also OnlyFans now promoting a lot of coaching and like personal trainer to join their community and then sell their product services uh, through, like through OnlyFans. Anyway, let's go to the third question, which is like, how has the pandemic influenced your job? Did, it was like a good thing or a bad thing for you, the pandemic in general? I think it was a good thing because everyone was home. So basically the pandemic, um, I don't know, I thought it was always interesting because people would always say like my job is like not a real job and then when COVID happened, everyone wants to do OnlyFans because then I think they actually did realize, oh, this is a real job. Like you have less risk also like doing this job because like there's no one that can like fire you. Like all the effort that you put in is, it comes from yourself. Yeah, and your investment so, is zero, no? Uh, yeah. It's not investment, um, probably one of the only time. types of business that you don't have to invest a lot of money to get started besides yourself. So yeah, I actually made more money during COVID than before. So that was, That's good. I felt very blessed. So let's jump to the last question, which is my favorite question for you. Al Francesco, <laughs> which is myself, has inspired you so far. We've been knowing each other for more than three months now mm -hmm. and we've been together as a like official couple for more than two months so yeah. it's been not a long time so i hope that in this short time i've inspired you like a lot yeah francesco has inspired me to i mean a lot with my social media because he's a photographer so i mean in the past i would always be like trying to find good photographers and paying them and he like has a really good creative eye so he basically has been helping me like with my Instagram. Ever since we started dating, my Instagram looks way better. <laughs> um, he has helped me get way more organized with like my entire life with all my social media stuff um, because obviously he does like YouTube and a lot of the similar things that I do, TikTok. Um, so he's given me a lot of tips and yeah, yeah. Which is great, you know, mm -hmm. because like we've been helping each other a lot, which is good. Yeah, we've been a team. So that's that's a good thing, you know, when it comes to a couple and especially if both of us, in this case, uh, we work with social media, um, you know, having an extra hand is always is always helpful, is always a good thing, you know, if before, if, like until I met you, I, I was actually a solo traveler, so I was not in relationship with anyone and it was kind of challenging because uh, when you are alone, you have to set up a tripod, you know, so especially when you are in public places You have to be careful where you are because someone can steal your camera, and you know run up so, and like take your camera Yeah, so it, it's not, there's a lot of things that when you are together, it's way better to do that Yeah But right now, I guess it's your time for making some questions for me Yes so my first question for you is why has Bali been your favorite place? Mm -hmm. out of all the places that you've traveled and that you want to live? Bali has been on top of my list uh, because I think that the lifestyle, as I was saying before, the way as the community um, is welcoming any newbie, let's say that, it's completely different from any other places. Uh, you will never feel lonely in Bali. And there will be always people around you. Um, the place it's simply beautiful, you have beautiful beaches, white sand, black sand, you have mountain, you have volcano, you have rice field, you have cliffs, you have islands, you have everything you wish. That makes Bali unique and special and also like a big a big uh, plus it's also the culture and the people, the local people there, they are very open-minded they always smile to you, even now that there's been a very hard time there because of the pandemic, they keep smiling at you when you meet them on the street or when you go through uh, these beautiful rural villages uh, in the middle of rice fields. 
and yeah so it, it's kind of like different atmosphere uh, I never felt like that anywhere else in the world I've been traveling in more than 32 countries and I have to say Indonesia has been like always the first uh, in my heart uh, so that's the reason why I am deciding to finally move permanently to Bali because I've been kind of living there uh, back and forth for the last 40 years but right now my biggest goal for this year is to actually settle down there. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so my second question for you is what made you want to start working as a travel influencer? Because like everyone when they start social media they kind of have to choose like what route they're gonna take. Yeah, so choosing a niche is probably the first thing you should do when you start your career as influencer or as a creator in general. Um, for myself, for example, in the beginning I was like, oh, I like fashion, you know, I'm gonna be, I don't know, a fashion influencer. It didn't last very long, honestly, talking. Um, Why? Because, A, the time that you have to put in, like, it's a lot of, you know, it's, it's time uh, and also being like a fashion influencer means that you have to have a lot of clothes. Yeah, it's expensive to, spend, to start. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's a, it's a big investment, but yeah. the return is not straight away, you know, like in, it, takes in, it takes a while. Uh, and also because it's quite common as well, you yeah, know. Yeah, you have to be like really good. Very unique in style, style, very unique in the way as you propose your outfit and uh, are you going to create your content. Um, so I said, okay, what, what I like, you know, it's actually traveling. I've been traveling a lot in my life, even before to start my career as a travel influencer. And so I said, okay, so next trip I'm gonna just record and take pictures of where I am, you know, I'm just gonna start posting this. And I've seen that people actually started to like, you know, and also my family has a big story uh, within the photography industry because my granddad was a photographer, my parents were photographers, so, you know, it, it's been just, you know, passed uh, from my granddad to my dad and then to me in this case. And so I grow this, this passion uh, and I, I started to travel around the world, uh, taking pictures, videos and promoting mm, beautiful places, a beautiful resource, luxury resource and, and that's what gave me the label as a luxury travel influencer, blogger, creator, you wanna, you wanna call me. Um, and that's what I love to do. So I will hope uh, that I will be keeping to do this in the future. Right now, it's not that easy because of the pandemic. But yeah, this is basically how I started my job. Next, leads me to the next question. Um, how has the pandemic influenced your job? Well, initially I thought like, oh, this is not gonna be like something that is gonna influence me because I've been always ambitious. I've been always like positive. But then after a couple of months, um, since the pandemic started, things were not going that good uh, for my business, unfortunately, because a lot of hotels closed down, uh, all these restrictions about traveling, which are still now in place and still making our life um, very, let's say, difficult. Right now, of course, it's better because of the vaccine and because, you know, countries are starting to open up, opening up to borders, uh, their borders. So yeah, hopefully this is gonna be better and better. But yeah, definitely the pandemic uh, has been hitting hard my job and the tourism field in general. Um, but luckily I was able to uh, go on a trip to Dubai and meet this beautiful woman, <laughs> which, <laughs> which uh, gave me the opportunity to work different, different type of, let's say, uh, businesses. Uh, right now I'm all, also, as she said before, I'm helping her uh, creating content uh, managing her life and uh, as I'm doing this with her I'm doing this with other other people in terms of you know social media management and um, simply like giving all my skills you know to others uh, and make their life easier this is this is kind of my job uh, I don't know if you want to call it like a consultant uh, oh, or I feel like anyone that does social media, like someone like me, as time goes on, it's not a one person job anymore. So a lot yeah. of girls actually have, or guys, people that do social media, they have someone helping them behind the scenes. So. Yeah, 
yes but of course i hope to be back also to do uh, you know like my regular job as a travel blogger influencer uh, in the near future hopefully we are going to move to bali so i'm gonna start again my vlog series about the beautiful island in yeah. indonesia okay the last question that i have for you is <laughs> How have I, or have I at all, inspired you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, a, <laughs> this is a good question. Well, uh, for sure not your mess. <laughs> 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 yeah. No. That's also part of my job. I have a lot of things that I take things. pictures and, <laughs> things. and I only use once. And then yeah. they sit in my closet. And then they've been there for years, <laughs> you know. And Francesco started to <laughs> dig in our wardrobe. <laughs> To try to organize it. No, I mean, um, you've been very inspiring me since the beginning. Like, I I was not aware about what was your real job, but also like uh, the way as you talk to me every day. You know, the way as you see the things. Uh, you have a very positive uh, mindset, which I love that because I have to say I don't know why. Maybe because I'm Gemini, but. Uh, like my uh, my mood sometimes it can be very good it can be very bad depending on what is happening in your life as everyone else but uh, I say like I really need to have someone next to me that you know kind of support me kind of you know push me kind of uh, tells me like e it will be good you know and she is amazing uh, she is doing this every day so like definitely this is something that is inspiring me about you and also i say you've been kind of um, inspiring me under many different things also in terms of relationship also in terms of how to relate with uh, people you know how to to deal with um, friends family um, because I can see that you know we were very different under this aspect, but also I had a lot of things that I I learned from you, which is which is good. Uh, so yeah, I mean, thanks yeah. for being here. And also, like, actually, before to end up this interview, I would like to introduce you because we are actually becoming a family. No, she's not pregnant, uh, but <laughs> but we want to introduce you um, someone that has definitely changed my life since I met her, you know, and uh, I, there was not a choice for me, yes or no, <laughs> I had to take it straight away. It's not a dog, no, we don't have a dog, um, but it's Desiree, can you please introduce her to her? Like, it is. This so is if, Desiree. If, this is Desiree. If you and many of you might know, he didn't know, what a squish <laughs> a squish mallow is. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a, a squish mallow, which is not something that you can eat, you know, because... The, They're very popular stuffed animals. Yeah, so this is something that you basically sleep with. I it's mean, like she, a pillow. She it's like a pillow pet. Those used to be really yeah, popular. Yeah, so we had to actually just order an extra king uh, queen bed because we don't fit. We have three, so yeah. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to introduce you Desiree. She's going to travel with us around the world. It's uh, probably the first squishmallow in the world, <laughs> traveling around the countries and exploring beautiful places. So stay tuned because soon she's gonna open a YouTube channel. <laughs> anyway, I would like to thank you guys for being here with us and it's been a pleasure to give you this life update. We're probably going to move to Bali next week, hopefully, pray for us. And I'll see you soon at the next vlog and make sure if you like it, subscribe and leave a thumbs up and if you have any question for me or for Amber just leave a comment below and I'll see you at the next adventure. Ciao! Ciao.